Hey guys, so why I'm getting sorted for bed, I thought I'd pick up the phone and just let you know how my telephone appointment went with my heart consultant. Um, it wasn't a very long appointment, there's not really a lot he can do over the phone. Um, it was more of just to see if I come with an answer regarding transplant whether I want to um, start the process and get the transplant evaluation done now and stuff um, and then obviously the goal would be to get on the transplant list <sighs> this subject drives me insane because every time I try and think about it it just gets too overwhelming and so basically I told my heart consultant that I was finding it really overwhelming to try and sit down and you know make an informed decision and he said he totally understood that because it is a huge decision but it's something that I have got to make my mind up with at some point. Um, so, yeah. The, I think the reason I've not just straight away gone, yeah, let's do it. Let's get up to Nottingham and get that evaluation done. And that, I think, I'm scared, really, because... If I get my hopes up and it don't work out, I've got my hopes up, I've got my husband's hopes up, the kids' hopes up, my you know, my mum's, my dad's, everyone's. Um so yeah. But anyway, my heart consultant said that obviously going forward and doing the uh, evaluation and getting on the list doesn't mean that it's going to be like straight away there's normally about a two two three year wait um on the list obviously that's not with everyone but it, it depends um and then he said but i've got to bear in mind i've got to be sick enough to need the transplant but i need to be well enough to get through it and you know for my body to be able to take it um and that worries me obviously with like sitting on the fence with a decision i worry god what if i leave it like too long to make a decision and then there's like they say no you you're not suitable to go on the list anymore so i don't know <sighs> Um, what else? There's not, just because I get on the heart, heart transplant list, it doesn't mean that I'm going to get a heart. Um, and so I need to bear that in mind. Um, because sometimes you, you sit on the list and you wait for that call and it never comes and you pass away while waiting on the list and that happens and that's something that I need to you know factor in as well but uh, it's just a really stressful decision to make um, and so I just put it all to the back of my head and I'm like oh, just, oh. what if I wait too long what if it doesn't work? What if it does work? What if, it, you know, that scares me as well, because then, well, that scares me, but it's like, if it, if it does work, then I've been given the gift of time by, you know, a complete stranger, and, you know, you want to make your, your life worthy of getting that gift um 
So yeah, I don't know if you understand that. Like that, is, I'm not very good with words. Um, and so yeah, I also mentioned to him. Oh, oh he said that um, what he'll do is give me three months like 10 to 12 weeks to sit and make an informed decision and then get the ball rolling or don't so it's more fear that's holding me back I think um, I told them about some of the other things that I've been experiencing like my legs going numb and Stuff like that. Um, he said it was, you know, it's to be expected. These things, they do happen as your heart gets weaker. But, yeah. That's it. So, good night. I hope you're all keeping well. And see you next time.